When I was seven, my family and I moved from Bicol to Mindoro. Growing up, we almost could not afford to buy rice for our meals. To help our parents, my four siblings and I had to sometimes sell veggies or fish. Because of that, I was always absent in class. It was hard to catch up with our lessons. I had a very low self-confidence. I was called a slow learner. After high school, I could not go to college yet. My parents could only afford to support my older brother first. When I graduated and got a job, he and my sister-in-law supported me and convinced me to study in a municipal college in Katainan. But on my second year, my brother died. I was hopeless, depressed, but I knew I needed to continue. I still have my family. I tried to get some scholarship but didn't get any, so I worked part-time. I was just so grateful to finally graduate, but I didn't just graduate. I made it with flying colors. I was just sad my parents couldn't be there because they couldn't afford to travel to Maspate. I was the only graduate in my batch who didn't have my parents with me on that special day. I marched alone. After graduating, I applied for work in several private schools but got rejected. I ended up working as a factory worker while waiting for the LET exam. I was about to give up but God gave me a precious daughter, my new inspiration. So, when the exam was finally set in March 2022, I gave all my best to prepare, and I made it. I thank God and I'm so proud to be the first to have given this honor to my alma mater. I made my parents proud. We are poor, but we can also achieve great things. And I am so proud of myself, the slow learner, the one who marched alone? Yes, I did it.